Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel today and everyone's favorite tournament starts today. I am so excited. Are you guys excited? Leave a comment down below on who you think is going to win the tournament. So we all know that Augusta National, they have some pretty crazy greens. You've seen those putts where people are actually putting like their back is to the hole and they have severe breaks. So we're going to talk about how to read the greens because I feel like a lot of people underread them and that's why they struggle with their putting. And we'll talk about how speed works with break and all that good stuff. So let's just get right into it. Most people when they're reading their putts, they read it from behind the ball or behind the hole. This is something that I really like to do and it has helped my putting so much. When I would read the greens, everything looked pretty straight to me and I always struggled and I play so much better when I have a caddy because I am not great at green reading until I started doing this. This was game changing for me. So I come to the middle of the putt. It doesn't matter if this is a five footer, a 50 footer, 10 footer you get the point you really just want to go in between the cup and the ball this gives you a really good sense of what the putt is doing at the midpoint of the putt and most times when you're looking at the putt as a whole you tend to under read it because you're looking at the ball straight back at the hole and so you're just thinking okay it's gonna look straight and especially if you're, you have a pretty big breaking putt and the last thing you look at is the hole you're gonna probably putt it at the hole. And so by doing this, you're getting a feel of how much it's breaking and kind of how you want the putt to move along. When I am looking at my putts, some people tend to, when they're visualizing it, they'll trace like a line of how it's gonna track into the hole. And then some people like to find a midpoint or a point that they like to putt at. You can do both of those with this. And so when I'm around here, I try to find a point on where I want my ball to roll over. This is really great for long putts as well too because you have kind of a, a midpoint that you want to break the putt up into and it really helps you like focus in on a direct spot instead of just looking at the whole picture. And so for me, when I'm standing here, I want the putt to roll over this mark right there. So I'm going to go back to my ball. I go through my whole routine, line it up, but I'm, all I'm doing is looking at that point. I'm not looking at the cup anymore. I never look at the cup. All I am, looks like there's a, like a dog dying in the background. Oh, yappy dog, I don't know what's going on. Um, so when I get behind the ball, I try to look at my one spot that I just found when I went to the midpoint. So when I step up to it, I'm not looking back at the hole anymore. All I'm doing is looking at my point and that's where I want the ball to roll over. And so again, I look at my point, only looking at my point, and then I just roll it. So my speed wasn't great on that putt, but I actually hit my mark, which was great. So obviously, since it was short, it ended up on the low side because I didn't have enough speed to carry it through. So let's try that again. We have men barking in the background, um, quite distracted. That was a good putt. So as you could see, I hit my spot, which was great, but my speed wasn't perfect. But for, what was that, a 25, 30 footer, I'll take this all day long. I think this is really gonna help your lag putting as well, like I said, when you break the putts up into sections compared to seeing it as one hole. A lot of people, when they're lag putting, they struggle because their speed might be okay, but their break is wrong. So if you have great speed, but your break is bad, you're gonna have three, five, six footers all day long. And so that's why the break is really important. It also comes down to how you like to hit your putts. Most people like to hit them pretty hard, hit the back of the cup, that means you have a lot of speed. And so if you're a putter like that, you're gonna to wanna to look for less break. And so when you are playing with a, a caddy or even in a, a pro-am or a scramble or with your buddies, if you're asking someone for advice on how to read the greens or what looks good to them, 
you have to take into consideration how fast or how slow you're hitting it. So always remember that. So if you're a guy who likes to bang it into the back of the hole, then you're gonna want less break. If you are someone who likes to die it into the hole, you're gonna wanna have more break to it. If you are just medium speed, <laughs> in between both of those, it's like Goldilocks and the three pairs. <laughs> gotta find what's just right for you. But you have to match both of those up. I think so many people focus on speed and they don't put enough of the time into reading the breaks. One drill I really like to work on your speed and find out what feels best to you is the hard, medium, slow. So you're gonna have three golf balls and what you're gonna do is you're going to die the first one in, hit the second one medium, and then basically bang the last one in. So first one is nice and slow. You want it to almost like barely trickle fall in to the cup. Next one's gonna be medium speed. And the last one's going to be hitting the back of the cup. Pretty hard. So this drill is great for finding what works best for you, but it's also great for working on your touch. Being able to hit it softer, to hit it harder, to hit it medium speed. And if you go out maybe to six to 10 feet, this is also great for you to see the difference with the brakes as well. So if you hit it a little softer, now you have to add a little bit more brake. If you hit it harder, you don't have to have as much brake. And this is gonna be really important too when you go on different greens. So every green that you play on different courses, they're not gonna be consistent with the green speed. So if you go to a golf course that has really slow greens, you're gonna to want to hit a little harder, which means you're gonna to have to play a little less break. If you go to a place that has really firm, fast greens, you're gonna to wanna to hit it softer and play more break. So doing this drill is really gonna help you, one, with your touch, but two, when you go to different places and you can adjust really quickly. I see a lot of people, it takes them to like the 18th hole and then they figure out the green speed and how to read it, but you do have to adjust both of them. But not just how hard you or soft you hit the putt, but how much break or not enough break that you're going to play. You'll see this a lot this week at Augusta National. Those greens are notorious for being very undulating and fast. And so the guys are gonna be hitting it very like short, barely touching it. And they're gonna have to play so much more break because of that, especially the way that they're sloping. So watch the guys pre-shot routine and how they read their putts and try to emulate that. You don't have to go as slow as them. <laughs> you can do it with proper place, pace of play. Um, but just watch their routine and like how they're reading it and where they're finding their spots. And it's gonna be probably pretty eye-opening for you guys on the differences between how they read their putts and how you know an amateur will read their putt where they don't put too much into it. All they do is look at basically the cup and the tour players will find their spots. And it's really important to finding your spot on super undulating greens, especially when they're lightning fast. One more tip that's really gonna help you on super fast greens if you want to deaden the ball coming off of your club face is you actually put it on the toe. And you'll see a lot of guys doing that this week as well. So if you set up on the toe of your putter, it deadens the ball coming off so you don't get that pop. And so if you have a severely downhill putt or if you're playing on greens that are super fast, this is gonna help you a ton. So if you just wanna barely tap it, all you need to do is put it on the toe of your club and from there it's really easy it does all the work so again if it's like super downhill super fast putt you're nervous about it just put it right on the toe of your putter and it will deaden it i hope you enjoyed today's video and i am so excited to watch golf it's my favorite tournament of the year and it's exciting that it's actually during april and not november so leave a comment down below on who you think's going to win i already gave all my picks if you're interested you guys can go watch the range i'll link it down below as well or you can listen to my podcast playing around don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel we're always doing new videos every thursday trying to mix them up doing something a little bit different so again if you want to leave a comment down below on what you want to see in future videos i love hearing from you guys and again as always thank you so much for the support and i will see you guys next Thursday.